now, your feature presentation. presentation. Hey everybody, welcome to What You Watch in our Patreon program where we talk about what we're watching. Cameron Jones here with my co-host, Mark Nussel. Jordan Jones. Uh, so you, if you've been listening to our podcast, you've been hearing us talk about Nightmare Alley uh, recently. And again, we, we're not going to do any spoilers with this, more just general topics. But I did watch Nightmare Alley. It's that Guillermo del Toro movie. Uh, Bradley Cooper. Uh, I forget her name off the top of my head. Nice the girl, hair. Nice great lettuce. hair. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. But the girl from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoos is in it. I forget her uh, name. Um, Mira. Mara? Yes, yes. Mara. We're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. The it's point Kate is. Kate Mara, though. It's, it's, uh, no. Kate Mara's sister. Is it? Oh, is it really? Yeah, they're sips. Did not realize oh, yeah. Dues to me. Interesting. Well, I, I did watch it, and here's what I'll have to say about it. I don't know if I enjoyed it or not. I'll say it was shot well. It's a beautiful movie. The storytelling was good. I just don't know if I like it. Give this. me a little synopsis. Um, it's it's a, it's following Bradley Cooper um, just joining a circus. It's in, sort of like a film noir really? set yeah. around, in the circus in the 40s. Yep, around the Great Depression and like World War One and Two. Like, uh, actually, uh, so, it covers, covers quite a bit, actually. But I recommend I, it. You, I well, started yeah, a, the first half. It's a good new Guillermo del Toro movie, and here's all I have to say: it's a good, it's a well-made movie. It's well shot. It's pretty. I just don't know if I overall love the story. You know the what I mean? Story is a little boring. You know what I felt? I wouldn't and even say is... boring. I just don't know if I like this story. What year did it come out? This, this year, year, like it's very, so it's a couple is it like an Oscar yeah. nom. No, 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 no. But it, like it's like a couple of weeks old. It's very new. Oh, it wow, came out okay. in the theaters, and then it came out on HBO Max, and everybody's like, "Watch it now." I want to see in the theater. I, I will recommend you should still see it. I'm just, I'm honestly, I've been talking about it with my fiance the past, past few days. She likes it, and I'm just still on the fence of whether or not I do. I haven't finished it. I started the first half, and for whatever reason, we had to like leave our apartment. We're like, I will finish this later, and I haven't yet. Just go ahead and finish it, Mark. Go ahead and watch it. Uh, that's all I'll start with. What have you guys been watching? It gave me uh, the same things. I'm like, I'll finish Water for Elephants some days. Is it the same movie? No. What, what was it? What was it? Water for Elephants? Water for Elephants. Oh, yeah, right. the, the, you know what? I kind of liked that better. Whoa. Even though it's Maybe not, we shouldn't publicly it's, say it's that. not as good of a movie. It's nowhere near as good of a movie. Sure. But, um, so I haven't finished that. Um, last week was uh, Valentine's Day, so I went on a little bit of a romantic comedy tangent with Megan. Got to. Uh, without making a long... Whoa, well, I couldn't have gone on alone? No, I said you got to, and then I said I didn't. Oh, no, you, you, I mean, you can't book like a, a honeymoon suite alone, can you? Oh, well, you can, but... It's the only type of... like. Yeah, I, I like it. It makes me feel not alone. It keeps me from... They only the give you so much lotion. Lines. I pack my own. <laughs> oh, you can always call the concierge, Mark. That's right. That's right. Um, What'd you watch? Oh, uh, so I... Uh, <laughs> I saw that going off and do a weird <laughs> masturbation tangent. I didn't... Yeah, we don't... I, we working, don't, I, I don't edit these. <laughs> I was working on, you know, getting lube into the store. I'm like, I'm not as much lotion. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. No, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. You still you are. The wheels straight. were turning. Um, No, okay. So anyway, <laughs> we ended up watching some romantic comedies. We're like, let's do it. And we burnt out, like, the great ones, right. you know? So we didn't do that. My I have to say, you're is, Harry Met Sally. You always talk about that. And you always talk about uh, when no, while you were asleep. No, uh, you got You've mail. Got You've mail. got mail. You got mail is my favorite. We're like, how many times can Seattle. we watch this? Sleep yeah. in Seattle sucks. That's boring as <laughs> shit. But yeah, I digress. That's just my opinion. No, so we uh, we did some tried and true ones. Mm -hmm. uh, not okay. tried and true. We did one tried and true one. Pride and prejudice. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> no, we didn't do that. Jesus Christ, am I ever going to get to it? I don't know. Just say what's on your mind. God damn. <laughs> We started with the new one with uh, Owen Wilson and uh, and and, and, and uh, J Lo. It's called like "Marry Me." Oh, I'm actually confused about that because I saw a preview for that. Is it Mary? Like Mary is the name? Like Marry Me? Probably. That's yeah, M A R R Y. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have questions because I saw a preview. M A R Y. I can't remember. I saw a preview for that, and it was like J Lo, and it showed her like in concert and mm -hmm. being J Lo. So is that? Is it J Lo in the movie falling in love with Owen Wilson as a regular person? Yes, it's exactly okay. that. She looks like she's playing a version of herself. Oh, it's the got previews made it seem very confusing. I'm like this is J Lo no, no. falling in love with just Owen <laughs> oh, Wilson. Sorry. No, it's not a J Lo. It's not. She's not playing herself. It is almost. Par it, it seems like they're parodying it, but it's a real movie. Okay, and it's worth a. Uh, not in the theater watch okay. which we did it was streaming on peacock we're like oh this is in theaters nice. we live in this world where you don't have to pay 12 dollars to see this each 
So you we just pay eight dollars a month for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pay. Yeah, we paid for it. I miss. Sure. The, I'm, so, I miss the old world, though. I guess is what I'm. Is oh, I do too. Because six years ago, Megan and I, we would have seen this in the theater on Valentine's. Day. I want to smell like, like buttered popcorn when I come home. You know? I always smell like buttered popcorn. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, now, that is the been... problem with the rosin, though. <laughs> if not buttered popcorn, like for sure, um, like chips. It's like a. It's like the. You walk in a subway. You walk out of. But anyway, yeah, like subway. we we both had the day off on a Monday, so we watched that, and that was okay. It mm-hmm. was. It gave us what we wanted. But then we watched uh, my best friend's wedding, Good. which is kind of a weird movie, but enjoyable. It What's the song it. in that? The moment I wake up. Before the moon on my wake up. And if you're wondering, I say, <laughs> then it breaks out. The are okay. dancing. We Here's know. what I've got to take away from that. Yeah. Um, Julie Roberts' character is mean and bad, and I don't agree with her. Home she record. should not be doing that. Home record. But my God, if she's not a star. <laughs> she is a movie star actress, and we're not talking about her enough. What happened to her? Where'd she go? I mean, she had like 15 years at the top. I think she just took, away. like, yeah, I think she started a family, just took like 10, 15 years. She made $20 million off. for like four movies. She got and, Tink. Well, she's back now. She's been getting back now. She's like, that's it. That's the that's the top. I think she was. She's fine. I don't know. I'm sure she wished she would have done more, but I I think she did quite a bit. But on top of that, I'm like, you know what? I'm not done with Julie Roberts. She is just like uh, just just a movie star. Emma so, Roberts, her it's been niece. Niece. Uh, niece oh, yeah. Well, funny enough, I was gonna say just a uh, sneaky romantic comedy. It's not like a happy like classic one, but uh, America's Sweethearts with Julia Roberts, mm-hmm. uh, um, C- Cusack, uh, John Cusack. Um, Catherine Zeta Jones. Catherine Zeta Jones. It's really funny. Check it out sometime. Uh, we Billy Crystal. Have no, we, we haven't. We've talked about it. We'll probably do that. Someday. It's a comedy, so comedies are hard to do, but maybe we'll get around to it. Sure. Mark, what oh, you been no, watching? But no, no, I trickled down one more. Sorry. Watch Runaway Bride. Getting the is that Chris O'Donnell. Is that no, more? That's close. Julia Roberts. That's Julia Roberts and um, who? Jesus Christ. Uh, R- Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Yeah. Oh right. God. Sorry. It's like seven years Honestly, after iconic movie gallery. Poster, um, poster. Yeah. Like with, yeah. she's putting on some sneakers. Are... She's in a wedding dress. He's like, yeah. "Oh, don't go." Like, that one doesn't hold up as much. <laughs> I do if, if you're gonna watch, I mean, if you fiction. if you want the good things from that one, just go watch um, the more gimmicky version. <laughs> what women want. Nice. It's got like all the same things. But no, we thought about Mel the Chris Gibson, O'Donnell one. Helen Hunt. What's it? That yes. one, yeah, Mel yeah, Gibson, yeah, yeah. yes. But the Chris O'Donnell ones, like similar things, but the, the Rotten Tomatoes were like twenty and twenty. I'm like, I can yeah, imagine. We're good. Uh, Mark, what you been watching? I'm going to dip into the uh, Netflix TV show realm. Euphoria is my guess. No. That's HBO. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Your Honor with Brian Cranston. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Have you guys seen it? It looks good, I but just like... I don't know it at all. It is... Once you watch the first episode, it's it's sort of a, a waterfall effect where you just... You're, you're going to watch all 10. There's great, only one season, if, but it's... Um, perfect. He, he's a judge. His son gets into some shit, which gets him into some shit. That's all I'll say. It's very Breaking dramatic? Bad vibes. Dramatic. Okay. There's nothing funny about it. It's like, and he's so good. So like, it, it seems like your classic AMC enough. drama. Just whatever they're yeah. streaming to nowadays. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, so, I've, I've, I've wanted to look it out. I don't even I know that never, show. Um, what, what's it on? You said Netflix. Your Honor. So it is on um, um, Hulu with the upgraded Showtime. I think. Oh, I, oh, I okay. might have. So you kind of have to have this weird package, gotcha. but it is worth getting. I think it's which like, everybody has. We all <laughs> have it, whether we know. Yeah, it. Yeah, we all Showtime have these thing weird for my packages. Dexters. Like, somehow I have like ESPN Plus, but Your Honor is is very good. <laughs> yes, check ESPN it Plus is a joke. Uh, season four of Modern Miss Maisel just came out. I oh, watched I'm the first two episodes. I like. It. Yeah. I am two seasons. Finally. Five. I love that show. It's a great show. I, know, I did like the first two seasons a lot. I just dipped out and just haven't gotten I back I just in. binged um, over... I had COVID a few weeks ago, and, and I, bin, I binged uh, You. I oh, okay. I know this one. Uh, he's a stalker. It's about a stalker. It's kind of Dexter vibes. What do you mean by stalker? Oh, it's a like guy I literally stalk stalking people. a woman. He'll kill people. Yeah, he just... I thought you misspoke like stockbroker. I'm like, Cameron, nope. that's not how you say it. Nope. He is stalking <laughs> a lady and killing people. And you know. No, but they're, they're, like, they're teasing a fourth season, so I'm waiting for the next one. So okay. that's what I've been watching. Uh, my TV viewing has actually been... It's, I'm still on the travel channel. I'm still doing ghost shows. This one's fun. It's called These Woods Are Haunted. So it's just like people telling their ghost stories. But here's the problem. It's like any problem with reenactment. It's super hit on hit or miss or one the the actors these c-level actors doing reenactments and two how much they look like the character it's drunk I get, history type yeah, shit well, there's actually a better serious. version of that show it's called uh are you afraid of the dark 
No, because that's just right, telling make believe stories. Know. These are people telling their ghost stories of a haunted experience in the woods or Bigfoot or something. But it has it's heavily reenacted. But some are good, some are bad. Depends on the story. Depends on the actors. This is a no for us. We should make a mockumentary about reenactors of like TV shows. Like this is our reenacting crew. We do reenactments for TV shows. So it's funny. Fun. It's almost extras with uh, oh, Gervais, yeah, but fuck, yeah, yeah. but right. not well, I said, fuck us. I said almost, almost, but not quite. Fuck us. <laughs> Cameron, let me ask you this. Would you rather have someone like uh, reenact sort of like a, a crime mystery, like actual reenactment, or mm-hmm. would you rather have like montage of documents and and no reenactment, no actors, sort of like... It depends on my mood. If it's a serious thing and I wa- and if it's a good thing, I want the documents, but I also have room in my heart for bad reenactment. I mean, I'm watching the <laughs> sure, show. Like, sure, sure, sure. I'm going to go to sleep to it. It's like I plan on going home and watching it. So, I mean, like, <laughs> you tell me, Mark. The reenactments yeah. are better than the actual... First person storytelling. It depends. It depends yeah, on how serious it is. Well, it depends on the source material. I told Cameron I watched a, a two and a half hour long. Um, we talking Sasquatch? No, uh, Titanic. <laughs> but if you want, I can. I oh. watched. Uh, uh, oh, that's a real this, thing. This <laughs> was actually really funny. An we, we were we were with a friend over the weekend, and Mark's like, we I don't know how the Titanic came up, but he is. was just like, oh, I've been really into this video, and it's just a real time. It's literally two and a half hours CGI long. of like the sinking. But there's a really funny moment where Mark's like, yeah, after this, he's pretty much just screaming, and he goes to two <laughs> minutes, and it's like thousands of people screaming Keep for talking, two minutes. I'll pull it up. But so, uh, the but casual way is like, oh yeah, it's pretty much this I, screaming for Peter. I now. do have a question. I I had. Her Heard, and this is this is completely unverified mm-hmm. that the um, the actual sink in the Titanic was very dignified and the, the lower class people like accepted death and the first class like got off like gentle people. Um, this is just a they said a lot more screaming. So it's literally a two and a half hour long video of another oh, band's playing. We know the band. Yeah. And I will go down okay, with but now the last shit. like ten minutes are <laughs> dying in water. Yeah, there's SOS going out. I mean, there's screaming. There's so if there's you want to hear thousands, hundreds, of thousands of people die in the water, that's the video. But for also you. just like like uh, I don't know what you call that. Just like free free clips of people screaming. So you can I could just purchase that. Or oh, that's just, just that. like <laughs> just shared audio. Yeah, that's files. not that's not the people from the Titanic. Well, <laughs> Although this is <laughs> like unrelated. Rude if while dying, they're like, could I, could I get some levels? <laughs> I, I forget. Well, we're just we're gonna want this. Although, yeah. I forget where I read this. This is actually kind of an interesting idea. It was like some just like creepypasta or something, but someone wrote like the real reason. Like my grandpa told me the real reason the Titanic soaked, and it was essentially a zombie story. I'd watch okay. that movie. That's all. Yeah, it's like oh. America. Uh, it's like Abraham Lincoln zombie. Yeah, it'd be yeah, something like that. Essentially, throw like throw in some bullshit. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So it was a fanfic creepypasta, but like, but yeah. it actually got me. I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of a creepy, fun idea. I'm Titanic sh- is James Cameron, right? Yes. Yeah. That's it's just a really good movie. I mean, it just is. <laughs> but true to James Cameron, awful fucking dialogue. Check it out, Rose. Oh, oh Jack, this Jack, is funny. This Rose. is a, this is added a whole love great. story, but. Yeah, I actually hate all the real Titanic stuff. I just love the love story. <laughs> uh, this it's the is, same uh, with, uh, with the notebook. I don't want to see any old people. Just the love story. I know this has come up before, but you know the guy at the end of the movie who's wearing the chef hat who's drinking on the ship? Based off a real character, he proceeded to get shit faced that night. He doesn't remember it, but he you, act, you actually see him. Yeah, he, he lived in he lived in Good real life. Him. He was the pastry chef on the Titanic. But you see him earlier in the movie throwing lo- like chairs into the water. He actually did that in real life. He saved like a bunch of people because he knew it was going down. So he started throwing all the wooden chairs over. It's like and there's no more rum cake. He, li- just... he literally did blacked out. Does not remember the end except for like he, people have a, accounts of him riding on the bottom and his hair didn't even get wet because his life jacket. He literally just floated down. And his blood alcohol, his blood alcohol content was so, so high boring. that he survived freezing that night. Fun fact: he was blackout drunk and he survived and saved people. Hearing that, based off a real character. Hearing that, though, the only chance I would have to make it out of any catastrophe is to be drunk. Because yeah. you're making moves to survive. Well, then, if you know, you like, mean, you may go down. Let's you, write a script called The Pastry Chef and just like <laughs> and then pitch it to Netflix. That's gonna be well, a like, banger. And you know that, like, if like a car accident, if you're drunk, you limp, you survive. Like, like the exposure. If you're drunk, you can survive well, better. Not so, only like, that. think about this. Maybe like, we should just get shit faced. Sober, then. I would get, I would get arrested by the cops. But drunk as a kid, it's like you're making evasive moves you're getting out of the you situation think. well you're definitely letting your body take some damage but that's you're getting true. out of that situation that's true you're bumping some corners you think you're making a 2003 madden juke and it's just it, it is the most sloppy yeah but you know what you're doing you're all in you're getting out of the situation 
The so last, maybe. the last thing I watched, uh, finally, just the Eternals, that Marvel one, that's like ah, a kind of Avengers sure. thing. Here's the thing I'll say about it for people who I know are also superhero fatigued, and as am I. But I will say, I am. This one is as a standalone. I appreciate that this does have a huge backstory, so this probably could have had like multiple movies leading up. But they did kind of condense it to the, like they really. It, it's actually a pr- it's 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 pretty good. It's fine. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. It's more of the same. Anybody like, watch Dune? Which one should I watch? You tell me if do, I watch do Dune Eternals or that. to support Kamel. Uh, ca- uh, you saw him, like the comedian yeah, okay, who got right. jacked. He He's in it. this one. Here, here's one thing I will say: is Henry it, Kiv? No, no. You're thinking Jason Caviezel. Son of a bitch. But I, I will say it is. It is a diverse <laughs> cast. It's a little at least different, so they get that. They're both set in the desert, though. No. Okay. Well, good. It the Eternals good. is at present time, but they've been alive since the beginning of Earth. Right. Tremors is what you're thinking. Mm, that is. Yeah, yeah. God damn, I wish I could remember one of the quotes from Tremors. Isn't it like shit eaters or something? Something like that. All right, <laughs> cut that out. That's actually I got something. the ass in. Ah, there we go. It's something like that. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, if, you're, if, if you're on all of our platforms, go back and listen to our Tremors episode. I apologize. It was a while ago. It's probably bad. You guys been watching anything else or you guys want to wrap up this episode? Uh, I mean, it was a big Super Bowl we- right. weekend last, last weekend. I truly don't even remember. There were a couple viral moments with uh, 50 Cent just hanging out. Oh, what do we think of the the halftime show? It was fine. I mean, no matter what happens, people either love it or hate it. it. Yeah, Yeah, it was was good. good. It was good. It did seem like most halftime shows, I get the importance that it was rap. But uh, in, in, in my opinion, my God, it will never get better than Bruno Mars. He really put on a fucking show. Mm, True. Yeah. What about um, Janet Jackson? Um, And Justin Timberlake? Yeah, the pair. I mean, yeah, you know it'll what definitely happened. go we down in history. Um, she got roasted for showing her nipple accidentally, and Justin Timberlake became a star from it. <laughs> Story of his life. It was a forgettable Super Bowl. Came out pretty even on my Bowl. bets, but I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't the most memorable. Did not make a bet. I, I mean, I watched it. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't remember the Super Bowl even now. If you tell me next year that the Cincinnati Bengals were in, I'm like, you sure? The Bengals? Unless they go on to like. Joe Burrow becomes an all timer, which he may or may not. I don't know. There, there, there was some some funny tweet that I, I read. It was like, well, like what's better than the fifty cent like um, halftime halftime show? And it was like something like two quarters. <laughs> and I don't know. There, there's there's some funny bit that I. That's good. Yeah. I was any, like, any, right. any memorable commercials? Even that I'm actually kind of spacing on a little uh, bit. The Coinbase one when they did the uh, uh, yeah the, the, QR, the QR code, code. that kind of just was like oh, floating yeah. there for a bit. That, the, the last few years there's been good gimmick ones. I forget what the one last year was, but wasn't there like a what flash do you call that? Thing? Like marketing uh, subliminal viral, 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 viral marketing. Gorilla. Yeah, the one before was like they're like we only have time for ten seconds. Or oh whatever. right, yeah. and the Reddit like, one. You know what always gets me. The Mexico avocados. I have no idea why they do it, but I'm like, Cameron on said you. he had never seen that in his life. It's oh, but did you hear the news? Year. You guys know that we have a hard ban on avocados in the United States right now, right? Yeah, I heard. We the cartels, heard, yeah. yeah. Cartels. Yeah, so it's, that's but funny. That was my main thought. I was like, oh, shitty time to spend so much on a commercial. That sucks. I felt bad for him, but I respect, you know, that they do it. <laughs> Good jingle to avocados that Mexico. <laughs> um, yeah, for the most part, I don't remember, but I actually think that the um, Super Bowl commercials. Have kind of gotten to like the dunk contest in the NBA All Star Weekend. It's like we've seen it all. Oh, did you watch any of the dunk contests? I didn't. It I didn't sucked. even. I didn't even watch it this it year sucked. actually because I was. I don't know what we were doing Saturday, but I missed it. There were better dunks in the uh, All Star Game from from Zach Levine and and mm. LeBron. Yeah. Than in the actual dunk contest. It's just so hard to do it though. The the dunk contest. Now, yeah, what do you mean? You've seen everything. How many times can you recreate the dunk? Yeah, some guy put like Timberlands on. Like, like, tried to dunk in those and like did a dance and it's like I don't know get creative like none of these guys are creative it's cause it's already been creative it's there's, like, there's so much your body can do the last great dunk contest was Zach Levine versus uh, whatever Gordon that was killer and oh, obviously yeah. the best of all time is Vince Carter's year and then MJ versus Dominique Wilkins any other sports or good games happen in the last like couple the weeks? The Olympics we got over. I didn't. I actually wish I watched a little more of it. I really missed this, the last few Olympics. The last few years, I just um, haven't cared. I watched most of it with Megan. Like the big ones, the highlights. We're were, not in like a, the brink of war with the Soviet Union, so I don't feel like I have to win any of these matches. <laughs> well, now it's just Russia. Now we're just so trickling down. We just did oh, miracle. We? <laughs> we just did miracle for our movie podcast called Classics Podcast, but. One thing I didn't bring up there, it's it's sad that we'll never have like a global watching event ever again. 
Just period. Anything. Whether it be sports or... Yeah, Maybe we will. I mean, who's to say what it'll be? We can't even imagine what it might be. But yeah, hopefully there, something will There happen. was a moment this kind of trickled down um, uh, Miracle, but like the press conference told him like the 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 puck drop is at this time at this mm-hmm. time it's not just like widely known like you learn that from the press conference so well i mean i feel like this year a little bit with covid it just seems like also the broadcast was kind of weak we weren't getting as much like updates and live feeds it just seemed like they didn't care as much because it was harder for them to do where were we at beijing, beijing. Mm-hmm. and you were still in the crowd seeing just like almost fake audience mm-hmm. like just there's there's nobody there i mean it's tough it's tough yeah. so oh. yeah We'll see you in Paris for the Summer Olympics. Twenty. Yeah, whatever the fuck is next? Woo-hoo. Uh Thanks for listening to our. Uh, oh, real oh, quick. Nope. Still trying to read. Haven't gotten a short story done yet, but I will. Still listen to eleven twenty two sixty three. I'm oh, on nice. breaks. What you reading? Nothing. What I'm reading. A lot of podcasts. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> no, I'm not reading anything right now. I'll let you know the next time I finish. I'm reading one more the room, st- and it's not good. <laughs> I will take requests for books. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not reading. Oh, them. I won't. There's lots of lists, but thank you. But tell me if I should finish. If It Bleeds by Stephen King. That's what I'm trying to read. I'm two short stories done out of five. Nice. Good for you. Uh, thanks for checking out our Patreon. Of course, uh, we really appreciate it. This keeps the whole system here floating. All the podcasts, Urban Hermit, Cult Classics. So thank you so much. Uh, make sure you just share out there, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.